Hi, I'm Dr. Wu, and I practice Oriental medicine, Chinese medicine. And one of the one of the branches of Chinese medicine is called medical qigong. It works with the energy fields and the meridians in the body. There's a series of energy moving through this young lady's body. This is Eva. She's the patient today. And Eva has had some problems sleeping lately. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the sleeping problems? What's going on with that? Just slight insomnia. I'm not, you know, once every Is it years. hard to fall asleep or it's hard to fall it's hard asleep? It's hard to fall asleep, yeah. And once you're asleep, do you stay asleep for the whole night? It, it's been erratic and I'm not quite sure if it's the okay. weather changing or what's going on. I mean, we have had a particularly hot summers. So I don't know what right. it is. Well, one of the ways of diagnosing that is when you can't sleep, it's too much energy in the heart. So when there's too much energy in the heart, what happens is the heat goes up and it disturbs the mind. It's like if we made a uh, fire on the floor, we lit the fire, the heat would go up to the ceiling. When that happens, and because it's summer and because there's a lot of heat, you would get things like anxiety, you would move around a lot, and it would be hard to fall asleep. So today, instead of doing acupuncture, I'm going to do some medical qigong to clear the energy in the heart. So if you just lie down here, okay. first of all, I'm going to do a little clearing technique just to clear her body and sort of to purify the room and purify myself. Okay, so I reach up and I just start to move the energy through me. So I'm reaching up, grabbing the energies from the heavens, grabbing the energies from the earth, and I'm centering myself. So I start to ground myself. Once I'm grounded, I can start to clear the energy in Eva. So I'm just pulling the energy through her body, sort of like cleansing the body, just moving things through her. There's, like I said, a series of meridians. So as I'm starting to move this, I just start to trace that energy. And now I'm going to clear the lung. So you might wonder what I'm doing here. Well, I'm actually reaching in with a visualization, like I have long fingers, and I'm starting to clear all of this energy around her lungs. I'll do it on one side, come over to the other side, and the same. Just reaching. Now, I'm just gently touching her body. But my visualization is I'm reaching deep into her body, grabbing that energy and pulling it out. Now, when that happens, we might say, oh, that doesn't work. You know when you're walking down the street and someone gets close to you and they go to touch your energy or they walk even close to you and you go, ooh. We have an energy field that extends out. So as I'm reaching and although I'm not touching her, I'm starting to move the energy in her auric field and starting to clear all this stuff. Now, because she has the problem with sleeping, I'm specifically going to work on the heart. So, by doing this, you start to pull the energy off the heart. And then, I'm just going to move her hand over here. I'm going to put one hand under her body and the other one right at kidney one at the bottom of the foot because the fire is the heart and the water is the kidneys. So as I'm imagining the energy moving through her kidney meridian and holding these points, start to tonify her kidneys. As the kidneys get tonified, we make more energy. We don't make more energy, but we send more energy to the kidneys. As that happens, it starts to quiet the head because you put more water, the water balances the fire. When you look at that yin-yang pattern, one's red and one's blue, or one's black and one's white, that's yin and yang is fire, which is the heart, water, which is the kidneys. So what we're doing is we're balancing the two, balancing the kidney energy, and at the same time, balancing the water energy. Now I'm going to come down to her feet, right on the bottom of the foot, right here, can you see this point right here? Right on the very bottom, right in the middle. This is kidney one. They call it bubbling spring. This is where the energy goes. So sometimes you put a needle in there, but man, that's painful. 
So I'm just going to put my hands right on that point and send my energy or my chi right into her kidneys. So I'm imagining spiraling energy going up to her kidneys and nourishing her kidneys. Now sometimes if the patient can't feel it, I will slap the kid kidney point like that and in slapping the kidney point, I direct that energy right up into her kidneys, build more water energy, and then I'll trace the kidney meridian. So in the acupuncture, I'd be putting the point, boom, right in the kidney point, and moving that energy up, but this way I'm tracing that meridian, this is not get the energy moving up to the kidneys. Now I can go back to the heart and start tonifying and calming the heart energy down. Sometimes I'll come up to the head. Now imagine I'm directing that energy from my hand right into her heart. So I'm pulling out the stale energy in the heart, or the excess energy, tonifying the kidneys, and then just flushing her body. I'm sending an energy of blue light all the way through her body, down her hands, down her chest, down to her legs, and out her feet. That's great. Now I pull the energy right into the lower Tantian, into the heart center, into the head, and just soothe the body by moving the energy. Great. Okay, how do you feel? No, I, I feel good. Yeah, I feel... <laughs> Like something, you know? Like tingling, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, no. Right. Well, it really calms the energy. And this way tonight, I hope you get a wonderful night's sleep. Sure. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing. <laughs>